Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Dyson Sphere program with Lone Debater 7. And today, we're going to be covering how to automate the production of sorters and advanced sorters. So, we're going to start with sorters. If it doesn't take too long, we'll cover advanced sorters in the same episode. If it gets too long, then we'll just put advanced sorters in its own. Um, first thing we're going to do is add a couple more furnaces uh, to make iron ingots for us. So, we're going to take iron ingots and I believe yeah so the motors I forget what motors take they need magnets yeah okay so we might be able to, we'll we'll just do basic sorters with these so we'll do two for iron ingot and this will supply this area so we're gonna put a belt like this we're gonna do an advanced sorter from this one out advanced sorter from this one out and then we're just gonna do a basic sorter feeding that way we can feed multiple furnaces from the same line. This is relatively efficient. You could put advanced orders on the front end as well, but normally you don't need, I find that you don't need to. Anyway, we're gonna take an advanced and connect that up to our electronic circuit plant right here. We also need some copper. So what I'm gonna do for the copper, since we've got a massive buffer over here, uh, we're gonna take a conveyor belt from right here and we're gonna bring it up a level so we can cross this belt. Like this. And we are gonna bring the copper down a level and bring that over like so. Sometimes flying is also good just to get over stuff. Uh, since we're gonna be using this as a main source bus of copper, we are going to put an advanced on there. And then we'll just walk back along this path so our drones don't have to fly quite as far to fill stuff up. We are researching some of the upgrade technologies at this point. So the one we're doing now is going to increase our drone speed. Uh, the next one increases the number of drones that we have. And then after that, we increase our um, vein resources in the whole planetary system. So that's useful for when we actually do start traveling to other planets. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and figure this out. Um, what I want to do is put this belt. So we need more iron. Like straight off, I can tell we need more iron. So honestly, what that means for us is we need to relocate these, build another or gatherer right there. And reconnect some stuff. So that's fine. Sometimes you discover this when you're building, you need to increase your resources. And that's okay. You can do it relatively easily. So we should be able to fit two gatherers right here. So like we can put one there and right there. So this one will reconnect right here. Now this one is kind of problematic. Um, so we gotta move this assembler back one. So, okay, we've got the two for the electronics coming off of that. Let's just re let's reorganize this entire thing. It's going to be worth it to do it now. Um, so we're going to filter these two into a splitter. So take a splitter, put that down. And we're going to feed this end in like that. And we're going to feed this end in like that. We are going to move this power cable. And I want the assembler for the belts to be like right here. Do to do, do. Not too bad. It sucks that we have to rebuild stuff, but you know, it's worth doing it now as opposed to later because once it's set up, it's set up and you won't have to move it again. So there's that, okay. So that is set. 
now we need to set up two rows of furnaces. And I need to be cautious with this line because I need to have enough room to put in another assembler with iron coming off. So, like, the way this is going to work... So, that'll be broken. That'll be broken for a minute. Take our smelters. One and two. We're going to break this for the time being as well. Okay, and these both need to be making iron. And iron. And then what we do is we take an assembler like here. And we run about this spot to go in like that. We actually need to move that power pole. And then we run a conveyor belt like that. Okay, so we take, well this, these should both be advanced feeding into the machine. So it didn't like that conveyor belt. Um, okay. So I don't have the inventory space to dismantle that shit. Okay. Fine, we will push this back one. So what that means is we're just gonna break this. We're gonna come back out. So really I want the line to go like out this way. Really? Why won't it let me use it there? What the hell? Okay. So that was the end of our research queue, so we'll have to now, do research. You can minute. try to view the whole planetary system and even the entire cluster by clicking the star map button on the lower left corner of the screen. So it really does not want to be put there for some reason. So this game is early access and everything, so sometimes you gotta play with stuff to get it to work the way you would expect, and that's okay, but... So like, why won't it let me input on this side now? Like, why... Like, what's the issue? So maybe we connect it up this way? So I can go this way, can go this way, and I can go this way. Cool. Alright, we figured it out. Jeez. That was way more difficult than it needed to be, but that's fine. We got it. We got it in the end. So, just delete that. And this path. Probably. Should come along. In parallel. Like that. Then this will be iron. This will be iron. And then we also are going to need magnet bases okay delete that for a minute and let's just build out the structures first all right so if we put these two like that and these two like that I think that will work pretty good. Now let's power them. 
So this is going to be an iron line, and we need to get an assembler up in here to make gears. So let's get the gears figured out. Because I don't... I think the issue we were having was I couldn't get the assembler to grid snap properly. So, like, I think it's too far away if it's here. Maybe it's not, though. Let's, let's try it. Nope. It works. Cool. This will be making gears. And then I also need to take iron ingots up over this way. So that needs a little bit more track. Cool. So there we go. Once we put down a power pole, we got our belts re-automated, perfect, that's, that's great. So, we wanted to do sorters. So for sorters, we need iron ingots, electronic circuits, and then for advanced sorters, we need sorters and motors. Motors take uh, these guys. So we've got the magnet basis for these. That's one recipe we can set up right here. So magnet coils. And we'll output from these two bases an input right here. Put down another power pole. And then I do have copper over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a splitter with it. Just because I'm going to want a couple of outputs from this. So one output is going to be from here. And then... Uh, we need to back that one more, I think, and we'll be able to do it. Oh, whoops. That is not what I wanted to do. At all. Sometimes doing the, uh whatchamacallit, the elevated tracks can be a little bit challenging. It doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. There we go. That's all I need, just so I can pass the iron ore belts underneath. I think that'll be wide enough for both. Let's just double check that. Nope, it's not. Needs to be one more. So the thing about doing elevated tracks, you push the arrow keys to start. So there's that. But you can only go up and down in elevation on a horizontal. So like, to go back down, I now need to do this. And I guess we can put copper like right here. That actually might work fairly, fairly good. And we'll put in copper. Okay, so we got the magnetic coils. The other piece of the motor is iron ingots. So we need to build another couple of iron ingot furnaces. And actually this track needs to elevate even farther back, so. Okay, I think that'll work. Now, gotta flatten that out. 
And I'm trying to snap these ones and pass these belts back through. Like that. And we're actually going to produce some more smelters while this is constructing. Because we're going to need them. So we'll put one there. And then once this builds, we'll put one there. And we'll do that. I think that's still pretty good as far as like supply is concerned. Put down another power pole. Set these to ingots. All right, easy enough. And then we need an assembler to make electronic circuits. So we can put that right here. Take one of these ingots, throw it in like that. We add one piece of track. Do the same thing like that. This will make our electronic circuits cool. <clears throat> and then I think we want... We'll do another smelter just to be safe. And this one will draw from both belts. Just so we have enough iron. Because the rest of the recipe ingredients is iron so we want to have enough um but there's that we're gonna take these belts out like this connect those okay so we've got iron we've got magnets we've got circuits to build a sorter we need iron and circuits so we're gonna take an assembler and we're gonna place him right here we're going to take an advance, go from this electronics straight over to that. Set the recipe to sorter. Cool. It'll start filling up with electronics. I'm going to see. Yeah, I kind of figured that was too far away. So we are actually going to bring this belt up a little bit. So it can feed this factory. So we'll do that. Another power pole, cool. So now we've got sorters being built. These are gonna go inside of a storage container just because I'm gonna want regular sorters sometimes and I'm gonna want advanced sorters sometimes. But there we go, so those are being stored, perfect. Now to make advanced sorters, we need to make motors and then we need to supply regular sorters. So motors are iron ingots, iron gear wheels, and magnets. So we've got the magnets uh, we just need to make gear wheels, and we need... Okay, so that's not too bad. So let's place this one over here by the magnet factory, so we can direct feed magnets. That makes a little bit of sense, so motors. We're going to need more of these, so start making them. And go from there to there. Okay, so that is the magnet or magnetic coils taken care of. We need iron ore and gear wheels. So iron, and, and it's not iron ore, it's iron ingots. So we've got the iron. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to pass this through a little splitter right up here. So let's just break that for a moment. Place the splitter like that. I think it will work fairly well. Cool. There's that. Pass it in like this. So it supplies that factory like it was. Then I can sneak this like right on through. Put one on there for the iron ingots that it takes. And then we also need gears. So we take another assembler, place that right here. Put down the sorter. Set this to gears. And then I need another advanced sorter. Just make 10 of them. Make 10 of those after. Or actually, I can cancel those out. And honestly, let's just cancel that whole thing because we've got some sorters built. Make it faster. 
Okay, cool. So that'll build some advanced orders. We'll wait. But there's the motors. So all we need to do is take our motors and put in the sorters. So let's take this and run a belt from our motors right on down. This will be advanced or sorter mark twos. How close is this? Pretty close. So we'll connect this to this. This can connect to this. Okay, that's still working good. This goes in there, and this goes in there, and then we take our storage container and connect that up on the end, and there we go. We've got sorters and sorter mark twos all nice and set up for us. We're gonna place our wireless power pole down right over here. We've got one there, one here. Not too bad, not too bad. So now we can come in and say, oh, I'm low on sorters. Let me grab some sorters and pick up a stack of them. Um, I'm just gonna throw in that single one there. And then we can do the same thing with advanced sorters. So we've got kind of the basic uh, movement items automated. So we've got conveyor belts, we've got sorters, sorter mark twos. And then we also have power poles. So we can grab a bunch of those. We also have wireless power, or yeah, these wireless power stations or whatever. We've got stone, we've got glass, we've got these little deals. So we've got a lot of really good stuff. I actually, I don't think I have prisms right now. I kind of want prisms. Because we're going to be starting to work towards red science in the next episode. But guys, that is all we have time for today. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Vader 7, and we will see ya.